It was a great weekend here at Tether the Ice Pavilion as teams from five schools converged here on South Campus to see who comes out on top in the CHA tournament. RIT fans believed it would be them who raised a trophy. Because everybody's zero and zero in the playoffs, baby. Let's go! The fifth place Tigers upset four seed Lindenwood Thursday, only to have their dreams dashed by Syracuse's Abby Malotny the next day. Saturday's championship game between SU and Mercyhurst contained nerves, excitement, adrenaline. Some families of the players crossed borders to watch their daughters, cousins, and sisters. Olivia Vasco came from Canada to see her sister, Mercyhurst grad student forward Alexa. It's my sister's last year, so it could be her last college hockey game ever, so it's pretty emotional yeah. and stressful. Ryan Prue came from Windsor, Ontario to watch his cousin, SU freshman forward Sarah Marshawn. I've been watching her since she was a little kid, and uh, it's just, I'm just so proud of her to get to this level, and I know our grandma's watching her back home, and I hope she can pull off the win for her tonight. Prue saw his cousin score in the second period. Mercyhurst scored two unanswered goals to tie the game after that, but in overtime, SU sophomore Sarah Thompson put the kibosh to any Mercyhurst hopes, SU clinching its second conference championship in program history. I don't remember a single thing after that, except for being at the bottom of the dog pile and not being able to breathe, so, but I mean, in the best way possible. And the man who's been there since day one, head coach Paul Flanagan, says SU's hosting of the tournament and the added cherry of winning bodes well for the program's future. To raise our profile and bring notoriety to, to our program and our sport um, it is awesome. On South Campus, Chile Casio Citrus TV.